the Empress. They are thinking about you, but they fear that the outcome is not going to be in their favor. Do you like what you are getting from this connection? But this cannot be just a matter of passion. Let me see, because now I am curious, uh, let me see the Two of Swords for your person. Hanged man, your energy. So this person knows that the final decision is yours. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friend Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Here we go, here we go. So your energy is the Hermit, Hanged Man, Queen of Cups and the Empress. Powerful combination of energies, your person's energies. Nine of Swords, Page of Cups, Ten of Cups, Two of Swords, Meeting Energies, Ace of Cups, King of Cups, a match for the Queen, Queen of Wands, the Lovers, Crossroads, following the Two of Swords, Our Focus, Seven of Pentacles, Time, Seven of Cups, Bottom of the Deck, Confusion, Indecision, Doubts, Questions, uh, even multiple topics that we have to touch. This is the energy that some of you guys have to face following the Hermit and the Hanged Man. You may have to figure out if it is possible to find a healthy growth in this connection. This person is dreaming about the opportunity to be with you moving forward, but they are also struggling with their mind because of the Nine of Swords. So, some Oracle cards, guys. We got Ask Your Angels that wanted to come out. I will show you. Then, Meditation Brings Answers. It speaks to you, Hermit Hanged Man. Reconsider. This can be a change of mind, change of art type of concept and listen to your intuition bottom of the deck. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. This one can be the page of cups type of energy, simple exchange, photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. I wouldn't say nostalgia, um, it's like a fear for this person, they fear that uh, they may not have the chance to be with you moving forward, heart with a key, exactly, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Is it possible to be together? Bottom of the deck, Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation, seven of pentacles. So guys, um, let's say this, um, fairly young connection, love can be shared, but we are not there yet. This person is dreaming about the opportunity to be with you, but a decision has not been made yet. That's why they are losing their mind, Nine of Swords. But the Nine of Swords is a mindset that um, we should get rid of because it is not necessary. It's an exercise of the mind that is not useful. Um, you are in 
a position that can allow you guys to understand if this connection is the one for you. Um, there can be a reciprocal attraction, it is fair to say that, queen of wands in the meeting, but the queen is also intuitively guided, and this is crucial, because your intuition can play a huge role. You have to understand if love can truly be shared. Um, you have to understand if this person can be a fair companion for you. If that's the case, feelings and emotions can be brought up to the surface following the King of Cups energy. And so it means that we can find a healthy development. But the situation is a little bit on the back burner right now. It can even be something about a dating process, so uh, maybe the Seven of Cups is the type of energy that can describe the opportunity to get to know each other more and more, so we may have uh, multiple questions, we may have the interest to find out as much as we can. So let's see, let's see your person, let's see the Nine of Swords, what's the problem? All right, the Empress, they are thinking about you, but they fear that the outcome is not going to be in their favor. Six of Cups, uh, this is an energy, my favorite card in the deck, um, that can find roots in the past. But in this case, I would say that this is a new connection and this is a matter of intentions. The gesture that the kid is doing in favor of the little girl comes from the purest place of his heart. No second intentions. So is this person able to manifest the set of actions that can truly be in favor of the opportunity to ignite properly the connection with you? This is a big question. Ace of Swords, they can open up which is positive, because the Ace of Swords is the way out from the Nine of Swords energy, and so they have to make a choice. They have to level up. If they want to be with you, they have to level up. Otherwise, they can be left behind. In this case, guys, the Five of Swords, which is for me an ego-driven energy usually, um, the battle that this person is facing is a battle with themselves, the Nine of Swords, their mind, the ego, let's say, if we want to. Uh, they have to release it, otherwise a dream is going to remain something um, on paper, let's say, um, on potential, but not something that we can manifest. Let's see what you are thinking about. Let's go for the hanged man, which is an uncomfortable position, but with a higher purpose. It's a shift in perspective, so do you like what you are getting from this connection? Eight of Pentacles, a matter of effort, and also an attention to the details. Uh, which follows along, considering the Hermit and the Hanged Man, but you are still single because the Hermit is uh, about a moment of solitude for me. And so, it's kind of like some of you can question the opportunity because you may perceive that something is missing. Ace of Wands, this is an offer of passion, guys. We have understood that you can like each other uh, in a meaningful way, but this cannot be just a matter of passion. That's why your evaluation. Let me see, because now I am curious, uh, let me see the Two of Swords for your person. Two of Wands, another crossroads, so Two of Swords, Two of Wands, the Lovers, we have a decision to make, 
Hanged man, your energy. So this person knows that the final decision is yours. The point uh, that may not be in their favor is that if you perceive that the interaction is a merely a passionate one, ace of wands, queen of wands, combination of energies, you may also realize that love is not really an option because we are looking at, your, at the opportunity uh, in a different way and uh, that's why the decision may not be in favor of the opportunity to be together. So guys, let's go for the King of Cups because it is the energy about feelings under the surface of the water. Let's see if these feelings have a chance to come up or not. Here we go. Knight of Cups, romantic gesture, one that comes from the heart of a person. Ten of Cups, recurrent energy, well, this is quite something. Three of Cups, no third party scenario, guys. This is about spending time together, savoring the moment, meeting and conversing, feeling uplifted, friendship. Friendship. This is a new connection, but what if you know each other? If this is a friend, they can fear that you can see them only as a friend even. This can be a side note, maybe a meaningful one for some of you. Let's consider it. And then the strength card. This is about holding back, guys. But considering these energies, this is a matter of trust. If there is trust, love can grow, among other things. And so... It cannot be just a matter of passion. We need more. We need heart. If this person is able to overcome a mechanism that can be an inner one and they find a way to bring to your attention a genuine approach when it comes to the willingness to build a connection from the ground up, kind of respecting the role of heart, feelings, emotions, and love, there is the chance. Otherwise, if you get the perception that it is just a matter of let's be together, you know, let's have wild nights together, it's not going to happen. The sun, bottom of this smaller deck, is even more auspicious because it is the happiest card in the deck. For me, it is a matter of inner happiness, and it can also be a matter of growth following the Empress. That's why uh, those of you that can resonate are not going to settle for a connection that cannot offer in your favor the perception that there can be a positive development in favor of uh, the two persons involved. This person knows that the final decision is yours, but they play a huge role when it comes to what they can offer. What can you bring in favor of this connection, I would say to them. If you have something real, something tangible in favor of Pisces, bring it. Bring it and uh, speak up in a clear way. Release whatever type of fear or ego-driven mechanism that is not in favor of a heart-overhead decision. So, guys, let's ask for guidance considering these energies. We got Spark, which is basically the point. Um, liking each other. Spark of passion, spark of interest, spark of curiosity even. But then we need more. If we uh, stop at the Spark Ace of Wands combination, uh, this may not be enough. And that's why some of you are trying to understand as much as possible when it comes to this connection. Coming apart, this is one side of the coin, basically, guys. Um, if this person falls short, and so you only get an ace of wands, queen of wands even, combination of energies from the connection, maybe uh, this is not enough, and you can decide to resist the connection, but if there is the opportunity to bring something more, maybe there is a, there is a chance. 
field of dreams um, this is an energy that, that can resonate with the ten of cups one but for this person is it just a dream are they a daydream believer um, or can they bring to the table something real in favor of the connection and its development uh, this is important one ring circles usually this one for me is about a one-man show or a one-woman show I would say that we are still kind of single we are not yet committed and so the both of you may still have your own one ring circles we have to understand if it is possible to work things out uh, in order to become a team you know if we want to be together can we work together as a team in order to manifest a positive development uh, in favor of our connection yes or no we have to understand it there is the chance but there is also there is also these five of swords that can work against uh, the connection in bottom of the deck we uh, get indeed goblins which is about a perception for me or perceptions the seven of cups something that can be unclear something that we cannot properly understand and it is important to address kind of everything because there can be something hidden like those things that are looking at us uh, kind of hidden in the woods you know and so the hermit can bring a light within this type of energy and the hanged man can allow us to shift a perspective in order to um, even change our mind about the situation if that's necessary you know a heart overhead decision is pending but if you realize that you cannot find the healthiest possible growth in this connection in order to amplify your inner happiness you are not going to settle for it and so it means that this person can see you guys uh, move away move on but if that's the case uh, basically it means that they couldn't find a way to bring to your attention something that was enough to justify the decision to ignite properly the connection together and so it is what it is basically they have they have the chance but they are also running the risk to lose you guys if they remain stuck in a passionate interaction it's not going to work I am sorry to say that so guys I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow some way let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time I wish you the best take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon bye